And now, joining me again is Dr. Benjamin Reeves. Dr. Reeves, I think it was 10 years ago on this program I was first with you, and I want to pay you a compliment, and I want you to take it to the right sense for me. You're better than ever. I'll take it. <laughs> you were good then, but you're better than ever. What a wonderful message you provided for us, and with all the experiences that you have had over the years with so many people coming to you for counseling the, and your churches at the university when you were there, uh, how do you deal with these people coming through? Do you refer them to the scriptures or do you give them practical advice for uh, resolving their problems? Well, actually, I think it's a combination because I, I find that uh, in referring to scripture, that is also referring to practical advice mm -hmm. that can be put to work in living. But I think the primary emphasis is to help people find their way, not so much telling them the way or directing them, but helping them find it because then they can cope even without your presence or your advice. Teach a man to fish. Huh? Yes. Feeds indeed. a family. Exactly what you're talking about. Which brings me to another point in uh, the discussion of that. If God be with us, who can stand against us? Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins. If I become a Christian, a believer in God, and I'm a good person and this kind of thing, why does bad things happen to me? Uh, shouldn't I live a life without pain, without suffering? If I give love, shouldn't I receive love? Why do I have these difficulties? Because we do not live in a perfect world. The results of sin and also one of the manifestations of, of creation is that man has a free will. And because of that free will, man makes choices. And because of those choices, certain things follow. God's desire is that we enjoy the best of happiness in life, but there are also the consequences of our choices that we have to face up to and live with. But never lose sight of the fact that God loves us, wants only the best for us. And as the song said, it's a love that will never let us go. It's very good. It seems to me, though, that there are more problems for us today than there used to be. Uh, and we quite often reflect on that. In the old days, it was more simplistic. Uh, we didn't have the television, and we didn't have the news media providing information uh, to us the way that we receive it today. It seemingly, we did not have all of the opportunities to do wrong. Today they have drugs. Uh, alcohol is extremely prevalent in places that they go. Divorce is accepted. Society seems to accept sin and these kinds of things. Do you think it's harder to be uh, a Christian and live this life today than it was in the years gone by? Well, I've often reflected, even when I was uh, on campus as college president, that I might have found it more difficult to be a student on campus now than I did when I was a student right. on campus mm -hmm. because the challenges seem to be greater and there's no question that the distractions and the quote attractions yes. are even greater. So in that sense, yes. But in another sense, the basic struggles, the basic fears and anxieties have not really changed and the basic need has not changed. And that is a sense of security in Jesus Christ. Very good. Being an experienced person, a president of a, a college, dealing with young people, and of course being in the ministry as you have over the years, in life it seems to be cyclical. And uh, you're no longer at uh, the college as a president and that sort of thing, but still you're dealing with people on a daily basis. Um, Seemingly, we go through a period where sin is more prevalent than other times. This is my perception here, and I want your reaction to it as well. Uh, there was a time, if you remember the free love period uh, that we were going through, and even the students became a little more aware of the negative uh, aspect of that. Uh, do you see that as a cyclical thing, or is it a progressive thing and we perceive it different? I kind of, kind of have the feeling it's a progressive thing. Oh. Okay. That we, once we become acclimated to it, then the uh, free love emphasis was not so bad after all, we think. Mm -hmm. Now something else comes along. When we become acclimated to that, 
It's sort of getting used to the dark, if I might use that phrase. <laughs> and so we see things less and less in their stark reality mm -hmm. until something new comes along. And of course, uh, it's the way that it's presented. Correct. Peer pressure probably comes into that as well oh, when this new agree. thing comes along. Doctor, thank you so much for being with us today. You're just tremendous, and your message was so great. If God be with us, who can stand against Let us? Let me say amen. Amen to that. Thank you again for thank being you. with us.